Four Little Known Treatments of West Nile Virus Symptoms An Amazon Kindle ebook by Nicholas St. John Sure, you'll find the usual history, description of the symptoms, and the medical rhetoric that there is essentially nothing you can do if you have a severe case of West Nile virus, but die. That's why I wrote this book on the West Nile virus, because everyone was just giving no hope of recovering, and so far we've let 27 Americans die. This book is one of the most comprehensive books written on the subject of West Nile virus, with well over 40 hours of investigating everything from do-it-yourself mosquito repellent, organic safe repellents, bug bans, and electronic repellents, to which plants will keep mosquitoes away, mosquito control, and covering the dangers of spraying. None of the other books available do anything to offer hope, recovering from a severe reaction, to the West Nile virus. What I found are books that regurgitate information most of you can find on the internet in 10 minutes. What I offer are possible solutions to a problem everyone else is saying there is no solution to. I don't believe anyone else needs to die if they contract and have the severest of reactions to the West Nile virus. While still being a realist, I understand that people with compromised immune systems can be hit so hard with the West Nile virus that it's virtually impossible for them to recover. But for the rest, there are four little-known treatments that have documented success when it comes to viral infections. Infections just like what the West Nile virus causes. But first, let me explain the problems of treating the West Nile virus. The established medical community is completely correct in their conclusion that there is no cure or no specific treatment, primarily because this is a virus which is extremely difficult to treat. Remember, no cure for the common cold. It's a virus. This conclusion is reached because they have been trained in the emergency care aspect of our health. This means the use of drugs, which are chemicals, or the use of surgery, which neither offer much of a solution when it comes to the West Nile virus. What they are ignoring are these four treatments and how they could offer real hope to the victims of the West Nile virus. The first treatment is proven against lipid enveloped viral spores, which is the vast majority of them. It contains a lauric acid that breaks down the lipids, destroying the virus's ability to attach to a cell and start the replicating process. The second is a result of an Israeli virologist commissioned by the U.S. government to find a way to combat the potentially pandemic avian or bird flu. Their findings was an enzyme that renders the protein that binds to a cell impotent. When put up against Tamiflu in a double-blind study by the Medical School of Oslo, Norway, it outperformed Tamiflu by being almost five times more effective. Third, with over 2 million people already using this highly controversial treatment, the internet forums are filled with testimonial after testimonial of people beating hepatitis C, malaria, the common cold, the flu, and yes, even West Nile virus. And finally, the fourth treatment has been successfully used as a final re or last resort treatment. The use of vitamin C is not uncommon as a suggestion to boost your immune system, but this radical use with over 50,000 people having been treated since 2006 has gained some ground in the mainstream medical community for heart patients. In my book, Ready for Download at Amazon's Kindle Books, I go into details of these four treatments, how often to use them, and what strengths are most beneficial. The book launched August 25th and is free for the first five days. So if you're watching this video before September 2nd, go get it now. Even if you missed the free period, it's only $4.95 and could save a life, maybe yours or a loved one. So while virtually everyone else is scaring the nation with doom and gloom from this West Nile virus threat, I'm offering hope that we can fight back and win and that time and supportive care is not all you have as choices. 
My name is Nicholas St. John. I'm the author of the book. Click on the link below to get your book now.